Hi ladies and gentlemen, so in today's video we're going to be discussing spiritual awakening and uh, I will give you, you know, I will share my personal experience how I came to this realization, right, of who I was and how I kind of uh, awakened uh, to the truth um, and, um, you know, hopefully uh, you will get to experience spiritual awakening in your own personal lifetime. Uh, you know, I think with all the information that's out there, especially online, right, and uh, I think because of how globalized our world has become, right, um, and uh, I think this, this uh, has uh, kind of you know, and all the technology, of course, right, has contributed to, to people basically uh, being able to, uh, you know, set themselves free uh, from, from this, this kind of uh, system or this prison that we were born into, you know. Um, so guys, <laughs> um, you know how, um, I'm sure you've met a couple of crazy ladies uh, uh, or a couple of crazy guys, right, <laughs> in this case. Uh, who maybe live with their five cats or something like kind of like like uh, I have right <laughs> um, but uh, I'm sure you uh, and you thought oh my gosh after speaking to them you thought they were ex extremely insane right um, well uh, after your spiritual that was before your spiritual awakening right uh, and so after your spiritual awakening you will uh, <laughs> you will uh, actually realized that the crazy guys uh, or the girls that you've met uh, on your way to the spiritual awakening they were actually not crazy at all and what they were telling you was actually the truth okay <laughs> so this is how it goes you know um, um, what used to be crazy right uh, on your way to spiritual awakening wasn't crazy, so crazy anymore and of course, uh, I, I have an example of that, right, when uh, um, before I awakened, right, I uh, encountered a guy, right, and he was a, a very old guy, I don't know how old he was, maybe he was in his 70s, you know, but uh, we met in Barnes & Nobles, right, in, in still in Florida, right, I was in Flo Florida at the time, he was in Fort Lauderdale, and it was in, the, in Barnes & Nobles there, right, Anyway, so I used to go. I used to go to that library all the time to just read, 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 and read, right, and read some more. I used to spend a lot of time there just reading, and so I met him there, and he was just sitting on the couch, and we just kind of started talking, right, and uh, suddenly, he just started telling me, um, you know, he was like, he just started telling me about myself, right. He was like, wait a minute. Um, there's some information that's coming through right now, right? My angels are telling me this and this. And at the time I was like, huh? <laughs> like what? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you know, I always, um, I tried, uh, I always try, try not to judge people, right? And uh, I always kept an open mind, right? So you guys, uh, in your own personal journey, right? Um, it, make sure that you keep an open mind, okay? Keep an open mind uh, and be open to different, to hearing different perspectives, uh, right? And this will serve you to your own awakening, okay? Um, the information that you receive, right? All the information that you receive will contribute to your awakening basically okay so it will be like a little pieces of the puzzle right at first uh, you might not have the whole picture right as you're putting the puzzle together you will think it doesn't make sense at all right but then when when that picture when, when that picture is done right everything clicks everything falls into place right and uh of course, even after your awakening, you will probably still have a lot to learn, right? And you still uh, don't know everything. You're still kind of waking up, right? In, in many ways too, right? Um, so even after... Uh, spiritual awakening is, is only the beginning, I would say. Uh, okay? Um, you're, because you're still sort of waking up, right? You're still learning about the world. You're still... Uh, there's a lot that you're still unconscious of, right? So it's not like the end of your journey, right? It's not. It's it's only the beginning, I would say, right? It's kind of like you 
I just think of yourself as think of spiritual awakening as being renewed right it's becoming the butterfly right so when you become the butterfly you're still learning how to fly and navigate this world and you're in your new kind of way of being in your new body right and you still uh, you're like what's this wow I can fly right what are some things that I can do right so you you begin to explore like pretty much um, all over again right so that's kind of like what it is okay anyway so so yeah uh, back to the guy um, oh sorry actually I will talk to, to you about this too right uh, so um, what will contribute to your own uh, personal spiritual awakening right is first of all being open-minded right second of all um, a, a lot of other people right so the people that will come into your life right uh, they will um, they will kind of give you the little pieces of the puzzle okay they will maybe hint at things right maybe they will tell you things like you know um, when I was walking for example right um, I was walking in San Francisco I remember, I remember right and uh, there was a homeless guy there right and um, um, I was it was already after my spiritual awakening right and and uh, I was in a very good state. I was glowing, basically, right? And as soon as he saw me, he was like, um, "We spoke a little bit, right? Exchanged some, some. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I helped him. I, I don't. I don't remember, to be honest with you, right? I just remember having this conversation and what he said, right? He said, "Whoa, are you an angel? You know?" And um, so things like that information like this right that you will receive and of course your ego right will automatically think wow uh, I must be beautiful right he thinks I look like an angel right but guys it's it's <laughs> it's much more than that uh, he is talking about the glow that you have right your light your inner light that's shining right it shines when you're in a good state right it shines when you're fully um, when you're walking in unison with God right when it shines when you're it's your spirit right it glows it starts glowing when you're in a good state uh, people will look at your light a lot of people will be intimidated by it right they will feel like you're going to be the end of their existence right especially people with a very dark aura right around them those are the people that tend to lash out at you when they see you when they see your light right but those people that uh, are uh, perhaps they're on their way towards their own light right and their own awakening they're going to really really appreciate your light and they're going to smile at you right and and uh, they they will probably make comments right um so a lot of these comments will uh, will uh they will be about your light right for example i was walking with also a guy that i knew right and we were good friends right i don't know maybe we were on our way to work out or something right it was in san francisco and um he was like whoa everyone is looking at you yeah, you're glowing <laughs> you know and uh, I was like okay and yeah at the time I was probably gl glowing even more because uh, I just really enjoyed my time with him right also and I was just happy I was in a really good mood uh, we were working out and, and just you know we were hanging out and so uh, it's things like this right and you will receive a lot of that okay uh, when <laughs> that's and that's your clue as to who you are right uh, it's your uh, clue us also whether you're in 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 a good state or not right also um, you will realize when your vibration is high right when you're glowing um, and when you're in alignment with who you are right uh, the energy of money will also come to you you will start start finding coins all over the place it will be really really easy right people will start giving you things and but i already made a video about that right uh, anyway so uh, but back to the spiritual awakening right um you will also um realize right uh, very strange things right so when you're in situations right like bad situations in the past I was in a lot of bad situations right but uh, the source or our God right has always had my back okay guys 
I was always sent help, okay? Um, of course, before that, I would kind of always help this person somehow, right? I would help them too, right? And, but and then they always kind of helped me back right and and uh, I knew they were going to help me okay I just intuitively uh, I would hear something like okay this person is going to be in your life right this person is going to help you and uh, at the time right when I was receiving that I was like wait a minute how why, why would they help me right or what, what will happen I didn't exactly know what would happen but situations uh, you know kind of presented themselves right and uh, I was there there were many times where I was in trouble right like in deep trouble in my so many situations uh, happened right and presented themselves and there were very difficult situations right where I could have ended up homeless right uh, I could have ended up uh, sexually abused right uh, and um, where uh, I could have I don't know uh, ended up uh, in some kind of very big trouble, right? Um, so, um, anyways, so, so uh, you know, in these instances, right, um, uh, you know, other people, right, uh, they always ended up uh, stepping in, you know, and just, just uh, saving me, basically, right, and, and helping me out of the situation. So, um, you know, these were the instances, and I knew they were going to do that beforehand, you know. Um, my, my intuition told me, right, and, and I knew. Uh, so, um, these things will kind of also awaken you, right. Um, other situations were very interesting, too, where people would, you know, I would be in very, like, dark places, right, um, and... I, I don't know <laughs> one place I, I don't want to talk about right maybe we'll discuss it later but I while I was there um, I would often hear what are you doing here you know you don't belong here you know things like that right and I would be like at the time you know um, I was like what what are they talking about I don't belong here you know like why, why would you even tell someone, you know, something like that, right? Whether they belong somewhere or not. Um, okay, right? <laughs> and uh, then there was also, uh, there was a party, right, that uh, I went to. And um, it was on Star Island, right? Uh, a long time ago, right? And uh, um, that party... Even though it was in a very beautiful, huge mansion, right? I believe it belonged to a surgeon, right? And uh, the house itself felt really empty, like soulless, right? It was beautiful, but it was like a museum, right? Anyway, so what happened there was they had all these DJs. They had a chef, right? Chefs uh, cooking food, snacks, and things like that, right? Um, they had... They had dancers, right, that were like, <clears throat> like very sexy. They were dancing very sexy, right? They were wearing very revealing outfits. They were almost naked, basically, right? Not quite naked, but they were wearing very little, basically, right? And they were just dancing together. Uh, I remember just looking at that and finding all of that so, like, demonic, basically, right? Um, and... Um, I just remember feeling the people and their energy there, right? And <clears throat> as I came in, um, and the energy there felt really demonic. Uh, I just remember not, not feeling like I was <clears throat> in the right place, right? But I, I remember just observing all of that and just watching, basically, right? I felt like I was always, almost like um, in this, like... Uh, in the sidelines, right? Just like uh, somewhere watching from a distance, basically, right? While not like participating really, right? Uh, and so um, I remember um, someone, uh, you know, coming up to me, right? And um, he was like, oh yeah, uh, there were several times when I was just sitting and people, uh, several people asked me for drugs, right? And I was like, huh? No, I don't. I don't have any, you know. Um, and um, 
and um you know so and there was another guy there right and uh he was an older guy right and he had he was uh i discovered that he was a neighbor right so he also had a mansion like next door right and uh anyway so this guy as as i later found out he was in a tree cutting business right so that's you know not not great right um but yeah, so he was from, uh, I think, uh, Austria, right? And anyways, he was a very handsome guy. I would say he was older than I preferred, right? But he was very handsome. Um, and and uh, I don't know, uh, there was something interesting about him, right? So we started talking and he was like, what are you doing here? You know, so uh, you don't belong here, right? And I was like, well, what do you mean by that? I don't belong here, <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm dressed um, like pretty much like everyone else, right? Um, I'm, uh, I don't know, I, you know, I'm... Uh, <laughs> I, I, are you saying I, I don't fit in, right? And uh, he's like, well, there's a lot of um, prostitution here there's going to this place uh, after a certain amount of time right it's going to turn into like like uh, they're going to invite all these prostitutes here right and uh, um, they're gonna start like you know having um, you know sex and, and everything right and I was like oh, really <laughs> I was like oh wow okay um, I had no idea you know, and uh, anyway, so there were instances like this, right? But of course, um, um, you know, um, uh, my, um, the, you know, uh, the guy, right? He did say, you don't belong here, right? Um, and so um, I was like, okay, right? <laughs> anyway, so hearing things like this, right? Over and over again, when you're in dark places, right? Basically surrounded by demons, demonic entities right demonic people i realized that a lot of uh, places with a lot of money a lot of wealth right um for some reason they are <laughs> packed they're filled with very demonic uh, people uh narcissistic um just empty vessels right that uh, are walking around um and that are completely um, out of control in terms of their actions, right, and what they're doing. So yeah, these parties, it is true, guys, right? Um, a lot of people in Hollywood know th th that this is true. This is what they do for the most part, you know? They hold these parties and they have sexual urge, uh, like, um, it's like sex parties, basically, right? They invite prostitutes and so on. Um, you know, they swing with one another, right? They, they drink a lot, they take drugs. That's, that's exactly what they do, um, you know, and, and it's really nothing, um, nothing to, I guess, uh, to uh, unusual, right? Um, all that's happening there is, is sin, 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 right? Uh, so these people are sinning uh, and and they they're un un unapologetically sinning right they don't care <laughs> they just do right um, and and that doesn't only apply to uh, you know their what they're doing their deeds right uh, uh, when it comes to their like personal affairs and things like that right it comes uh, with their jobs to right the jobs that, that they have uh, um, you know, plastic surgeons, right? The, the, the guy was a plastic surgeon, right? So he changes the appearance of other people, right? Uh, some would say that it's great, right? But I, I do not agree with that. I think that, you know, we're born with our own unique, beautiful bodies, faces, right? Um, it, I think we're beautiful. We're all beautiful in our own way. I think there's no need to change that, right? Anyways, uh, and, but this video is not about this, right? Uh, so uh, let's go back to spiritual awakening, right? So um, like I said, right, we, um, a lot of things, right, will, um, will click uh, over time as you gather more and more information and as people will start telling you things, right, information that you, that you never knew. 
um, you know, my ex-boyfriend was also one of the uh, one of those people, right, who has contributed to my spiritual awa awakening in some ways, right? He would tell me things that were unusual, unique, right, that didn't make sense at the time, right? But I always kept an open mind, right? That keeping an open mind, guys, is the key, right? Uh, one thing that I will tell you guys is that, you know, when you're born in jail, right, and someone tells you that there is life outside of jail, <laughs> right? You're not going to believe them because all of your life you've been imprisoned, right? You've been in jail, so jail is all you know, right? You don't know what's outside of those walls. You've never experienced that, right? But this is the case in most cases, right? This is, uh, you, uh, this is how spiritual awakening is, okay? Uh, you realize that all the information, right, that you've been conditioned with has been keeping you um, repressed, okay? It's been keeping you down. It's been keeping your energy down, your vib vibration down, right? It's like being in a relationship with a psychopath, right? You get stuck, right? They gain all the control, right? They, they have all the finances, right? It's like our world leaders, right? These systems have been in place to ensure that none of us get too wealthy, too rich in order to really free ourselves, right? Um, same thing happens here, right? So um, you have to realize that um, all the um, all the systems that the the traditional systems that have been put into place, they've been uh, they are used against you. Okay, they're used to keep you in prison that you're in. Okay, and most in most cases we we are. Um, um, we're in prison of our own minds, basically. We've been conditioned a certain way, right? And this conditioning, you know, you learn about this conditioning even more as you have kids, okay? Because you kind of watch a new organism, right, develop into something bigger, right? And uh, <laughs> and you're sometimes, you know, even as a parent, right, you don't know everything, right? So sometimes you question, you're like, should, should I be telling my kid this? Uh, I don't know. So you guys, you basically realize that uh, you've, be, you've been kept in uh, prison uh, your entire life, okay? And all the systems that are in place, the banking system, right, the educational system, it's all been alive, right? It's all been created to keep you down, to keep you brainwashed, right? Um, and like I said, right, when you do have a kid, right, you... Uh, you kind of watch this process unfold in front of your eyes, right? You watch how uh, your um, kiddo is getting um, <laughs> not necessarily brainwashed, right? But how he's being conditioned, right? To to act or to be a, a certain way, right? And so... Um, so that's that's the thing, right? And also, of course, if you are, um, you know... Uh, it's kind of like um, on a micro level, right? When you're in a relationship with a narcissist, right? Um, eventually, they gaslight you. Gaslight you. They, um, you know, they take everything away from you that is good about you. They make you think a certain way, right? They make you believe certain things about yourself that are not true, right? And so our society is the same, right? Our society conditions us to live a certain way, right? They give us a script. Here's how your life should unfold, right? You should uh, go to school, right? Um, get a job, <laughs> um, buy a house maybe, right? Get married, have, have kids, right? And uh, teach your kid, kids the same bullshit <laughs> that you've been taught, right? Um, and so, so this is the problem, guys, right? Um, human beings are not supposed to live this way, okay? Um, we're not, we shouldn't, we should be free. We're free beings, okay? Uh, we should follow our own set of rules instead of following someone else's rules. Um, 
you know, and so the key to all of this chaos, right, the key to awakening, right, uh, and to getting out of these systems, right, is to no longer support them, okay, it's to, it's kind of like walking away from a narcissist, right, uh, because that's exactly what, what you're in a relationship with uh, as a society, all right, um, on a whole, <laughs> or as a whole, sorry, <laughs> um, so you are, um, you know, all you have to do is walk away. If we all walk away, right, and no longer support these systems that were uh, basically meant to imprison us and to suck our energy, right, and to suck our essence, <laughs> um, if we were to just walk away, right, and create our own systems and create our own communities, right, and to heal from within, right, that's the key, that's the number one key, right, then um, uh, all of them would fall, fall apart, right, they would have n no one to, to suck the energy from, okay, um, and so, um, you know, uh, they, uh, you know, and, and I believe the controllers, right, um, <laughs> this started happening a while ago uh, because um, a lot of people started realizing that the system was no longer working for them, right? That, that it was keeping them enslaved and that they were taught lies, right? And so a lot of people started walking away from all of it. Okay, so I, I believe that's one of the reasons why we had the pandemic actually, okay? Um, <laughs> it was the controller's way of trying to gain more control, okay, basically, uh, but they, little did they realize that they've actually, they will create, uh, or, the, or they've already created more awakening, and the reason being is because people have to socially isolate, or, uh, uh, yeah, they, exactly, they have to socially isolate and be by themselves in order to actually uh, to to think in order to connect to their inner selves better, right? To connect to source, in order to hear themselves, right? In order to kind of uh, sit with their feelings, right? And so on. And so people had to socially isolate in order to do that. And most people didn't have that opportunity uh, before, uh, you know, COVID happened, right? So... Uh, what actually ended up happening is that the controllers, right, uh, the people who created this this uh, pandemic, right, they um, <laughs> they gave us that opportunity, okay, uh, and so they contributed. They will contribute to the awakening of more and more people, okay. And these people, they will walk away from these systems. It's already happening. So this is what an awakening is: the realization that um, you know the. Um, the image that you've created of yourself, right, um, through your ego, by trying to succumb to societal standards and norms and ways of being is no longer serving you um, or who you are on the inside, okay? So you've created uh, someone that you don't want to be, someone you're not, right? Maybe you don't want to have a big family, right? Maybe you don't want to buy a house. And maybe, uh, you know, so, so by succumbing to those, uh, I don't know, succumbing to that script that you were given, right? You, you realized that you were miserable and it wasn't serving you in any way and that you wanted to do something else, right? That your you realized that your life purpose wasn't, wasn't what you were told that it was, right? And we were all basically like given the same script, right? So, um... So yeah, guys, you know, um, all I can tell you is that, you know, um, the, you know, the spiritual awakening is like the chipping away of all that you're not, right? And the realization that you're, you know, it's the, it's the coming, um, it's the, yeah, it's basically finding your true self, okay? And, and doing what God intended you to do, right? It's the realization that that you're a light being, that you're here to serve humanity and that, you know, you're ultimately love, <laughs> you know, and, and you're here to spread that love, 
and that's it guys you know and, and and of course our purpose will always be different you know everyone will have a different purpose you know it, it can be maybe public speaking right or trying to awaken others maybe it's uh i don't know cleaning up the environment right maybe it's uh I don't know, whatever your skill is, right? Maybe it's, maybe you're a programmer. Maybe it's uh, building, like, uh, you know, different, I don't know, uh, programs that, that help humanity in some way, in one way or another, right? So everyone has different skills, right? Everyone is interested in different things. And, and, uh, and, and so, yeah, how you use those skills is what matters, right? And, and, uh, yeah guys <laughs> so uh stay tuned for another video um and peace out bye